Okay. Oh no. I really now I have to shrink myself. No. Imagine there was somebody under my bed. Oh, that's scary. Last month, or the month before that, I don't remember when it was, it might have been February, I said that I wanted to go on a solo vacation. I'm going on a solo trip. I'm going to the Cape. I'm staying at a little place right on the water. It is super cheap right now because it's off season. So if you ever want to go and you're poor like me, I highly recommend going during the off season, which is now. So hopefully we make it there in one piece. I'm going to go. I should do a cool little transition of like right now and then and then in my room looking at the view. Three, two, one. This is my view. I kind of thought I was going to be in that room. So then I'm just looking out at the ocean, but I mean, I'm literally looking out at the ocean right now. So this is my little porch, my bed, TV little table, little like kitchenette area, bathroom. I'm gonna unpack and relax a little bit and then try and figure out what I'll be doing tomorrow. So we made it down to the beach. Also can't tell if this private beach sign that's like right over there is for my area or people that like live up there, but it's fine. I'm hiding behind this cliff. Look at this. This is literally like perfection to me. I'm up entirely too early, but let's look at the sunrise. Um, cool. But the sunrise is very nice. It's really your typical everyday beach sunrise. Good night. Okay. Uh. I'm heading to a coffee shop for some coffee and possibly some breakfast, although I'm not that hungry, but I feel like I should get the full experience. Uh, that was embarrassing. I also went down a one-way. In my defense, my GPS told me to go down a one-way, so they're just like, hey, look at that Connecticut girl who doesn't know where she's going. I just got a bagel and some coffee. My butt is wet because I sat on a bench that I thought was... Just cold, but it wasn't just cold, it was wet. You know what's worse than paper straws? Wet jeans. I hate this. All right, I'm gonna. St A lot of the shops didn't open till 10 anyway, but now it's 10, so I'm gonna go walk around, see if I can find something. Hopefully, my butt doesn't look too wet. Should I put my sunglasses on? No, no, no. My hair is a mess because of the wind. It's such a beautiful day. I thought it was gonna be cloudy. So everybody's out on the town. I was gonna do an accent. The coffee's still cold, let's try it. I don't know how, that's still really cold. All right, let's do a little haul. Yellow umbrella bookstore. It's a new and used bookstore. I'm pretty sure I just got a new book by accident. So I've seen, oh, I got a bookmark. Um, so I've seen this book on a few different people's Instagrams, and I wanted to get it. So I saw it. I got it. <laughs> this little pin at the last minute. And then there were other pins that were cuter, but I just saw this one first and grabbed it. The lady made me put the sticker that I got in my purse so that I wouldn't lose it. Little does she know, I'm still going to lose it. This is Chatham, Cape Cod. A little memory for my first solo trip. I was deciding between two sweatshirts. I got this in a medium. 
and I saw it with my leggings and my white shoes. Basic white girl vibes all around, but it's so soft. We're paying for the view, I feel like. Like, look at that. This is, has become my go-to fancy outfit. I'm going to Brax Landing for like a late lunch. And then this will be my first meal alone. Remember when I was procrastinating going to the coffee shop? That's what I'm doing now. I think I'm a little tipsy. That drink that I had was kind of uh, strong. That was my first dining experience alone. There are some things that I learned about dining alone in these past like 40 minutes. It's very peaceful and because you're only paying attention to really like what you're eating, you taste everything a little bit more. I think my waitress's name was Diane. Diane, I thank you. And I'm just gonna go back and hang out at my little place. We'll see you whenever my next destination, whenever I arrive at my next destination. solo trip but I'm excited to go home sleep in my own bed <laughs> two years ago even last year I would never have thought that I would do something like this so the fact that I'm here now is crazy to some of you it might not be a big deal like going on trips alone doing things alone but for me and I know for a lot of other people it is all right I'll see you guys in my next destination giving egg vibes. We look like the egg we truly are today. I desperately need water. I did not bring enough water. I'm gonna go do some more shopping, get my coffee, and then nobody cares about what I have to say right now. So you get what you get. You get what you paid for. Nobody's paying me. This is a no budget. No budget vlog. Okay, we've made it. This is what it looks like. Once I find the flowers, I will let you know. Otherwise, you'll see me with some lunch because I might be very hungry after this. I wanted to update you on the fact that I'm lost in case this is the last thing that I ever say. And she was last seen hiking this unknown trail. Cool. It's day five. It's been 10 minutes, but where are the flowers? Oh, I just want to find the flowers. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Maybe the flowers are over here. I don't know, guys. I'm not giving up though. Okay, I found the picnic spot. Guess what though? No flowers. <sighs> I'm 10 minutes away from my car. Um, you know the thing? Not all who wander are lost. That's false. I'm wandering, definitely lost. Some who wander are lost and that is me. I feel like if I stop looking for the flowers, I'll just find them. Two paths. Two, what's that poem? I am hungry. I feel like I've been here for weeks. Whoa, I just dodged a branch. <laughs> I am now 25 minutes away from my car. Wait, wasn't I already down here? Now you're probably thinking, Max, just go back the way you came. And I'd love to do that. But I have no idea where the heck that is. That opening back there was literally just no trespassing water supply. I feel like this is a great analogy for all of my relationships. You see a clearing up ahead. Nope, just another toxic situation. We love that. Not really. Surprisingly, I haven't cried this whole trip. I only almost cried when I was going around the roundabout because that thing is scary. Huge one when you get off the highway. Some guy beeped at me and I said, as you should, sir, as you should. Why don't I see an opening for the parking lot? In this next clip, I'll either still be in the woods or I'll be happy because I have my lunch. Pray for me. Okay, so I'm not gonna bore you with a... I just ripped the whole bag. Ah, that's hot cheese sauce. Overall, that was a pretty decent first solo trip. I stayed at Chatham Tides. That was nice. It was perfect for the short amount of time that it was there. There are a couple houses that they have like a little townhouse and then they have 
an event tied house and then I think another house so you can stay there with friends I think those rooms are a little bit nicer my move here when I retire <laughs> in like another 60 years I definitely like the Cape a lot now I have a three-hour drive home so I'm gonna end this here if you're thinking about doing a solo trip I highly highly recommend it it was nice to just get away and be by myself for for a little bit all right anyway guys let's just fade out should we do a fade yeah let's fade okay three this is our last countdown <laughs> three.